what's going on Coyote Pack? Today we are on location in South Dakota and we're going to visit the Mammoth Site. Get ready, this is going to be a prehistoric adventure. When the Brave Wilderness crew and I visited South Africa, we had the chance to film our planet's largest terrestrial mammal, the African elephant. The enormity of these animals is absolutely staggering, and by getting dangerously close, we witnessed their incredible power and were quickly reminded why they command respect. Later that summer, we visited Hot Springs, South Dakota had the chance to come face to face with a prehistoric giant that dwarfed even the most intimidating elephant, the mammoth. And while the well-known woolly mammoth is about the same size as an African elephant, which is on average still a whopping 10 feet tall, the lesser known Colombian mammoth towers at over 13 feet. Yes, they are now extinct, but their impressive skeletons can be seen at the mammoth site, a unique paleontological dig site where anyone can go into the bone bed and see this impressive fossil excavation up close. Okay, we're heading into the bone bed. Whoa. are a bunch of mammoth tusks. You even have a jaw down here. It looks like a lower jaw. You can see those big flat back molars. Pieces of vertebrae, leg bones, and all these mammoths just piled down on top of each other. That is so cool. Now, Coyote, why are there so many of the fossils here? Like, why, why are there so many mammoths? Well, the thing that we learned in the intro video is that actually this was a sinkhole and the sides were made of shale. They were very, very slippery. So as the mammoths would come down to take a drink, they would slip, fall in, and because the sides were so steep, they couldn't climb back up. Eventually, they exhausted themselves, they drowned, and then all of those bodies, mammoth after mammoth, just piled on top of each other. The sediment filled in, and of course, the fossils were formed. And it's not just mammoth. We have some other stuff here, too. Uh, there's tons of species that have been found here. This is a giant short faced Bear. Look at that thing, it's huge. That's a big bear right there. Oh, getting the bird's eye view up here. Oh, what's really cool about this dig site is that they've left it here as compared to completely exposing all the bone and preparing it and putting it in an exhibit, they leave this as an open dig site. So paleontologists are constantly working here to reveal more of the bone. They're constantly finding new specimens. And this is just such a cool angle being able to look down at the whole length of this mammoth's body. Pretty sweet, isn't it? This is the wow. largest deposit of mammoth skeletons found anywhere in the United States. Wow. So you can see all of this bone that's exposed. Now these bones are extremely fragile. They are considered fossils, but they're not as hard and petrified like dinosaur bones. And these are much easier to dig up than dinosaur bones. If you can say it's easier, it's because the sediment is a lot looser, but they're still incredibly fragile. Well, these aren't as old, right? No, we're talking wow. hundreds of thousands of years old as compared to millions of years old. That's cool. Wow, oh, this is amazing. This is a mummified baby woolly mammoth. And apparently it lived around 38,000 years ago. And what's really cool is in parts of the world like Russia, we're actually finding these very intact preserved specimens. They're actually hair, skin, and most importantly, there's genetic material. So one day scientists will be able to actually track the genome of a woolly mammoth. This is just a plethora of mammoth information. This is cool. The actual mount was at these metal beams here. So these steel beams that are running parallel to each other right there. 
That is how tall this mound of dirt was before they began to excavate it down. And originally it was bulldozers that had plowed through here. They found the first teeth and bones and said, okay, everybody stop with the big machinery. We need to check out what this spot is. And then they found this entire deposit of skeletons. Ooh, all right. It says you're allowed to touch it. And I'm not gonna get in trouble? Well, as long as you put it back. All right, <laughs> check this out. These are some um, basically replicas of some mammoth bones. So look at this. This is the mandible oh. of the mammoth. <laughs> hey, check out those molars. Ooh. Yeah, oh here, bring, come over, bring it over here. Yeah. Show you. Right, right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. There Easy. it is. <laughs> Man. Imagine that. Uh, this is as close and as deep as you can get to the skeletons. Look at the skull right there. It's like perfectly placed. Now this is one of the coolest paleontological sites I have ever been present on. I wish that I could be in here helping to excavate some of these bones and who knows, maybe we'll get to come back at some point and actually help them dig up some of these mammoths. Wow. Look how big it is. Pretty cool, just taking one last moment to admire Sinbad, this giant skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. Saw some pretty cool things today. Yeah, I mean, the dig site's cool, Sinbad is cool, the gift shop outside is also cool. And you know what I was thinking? We head in there, check out some cool gifts, and we pick up some prizes for the Coyote Pack. What do you think? A little scavenger hunt. What do you think, Mar, are you in? Yeah! All right, let's guys, it. let's visit the gift shop and see what we can find. Ooh, the gift shop. This is officially it. Uh, they have all sorts of cool stuff in here. There are books, there are stuffies, there are sculptures, there are even casted artifacts from some of the discoveries that have been here at the Mammoth site. I say we take 15 minutes to look around and see what sort of cool things we can pick up for the Coyote Pack. Sound good? So each, you get a thing, you get a thing, and I'll pick a thing, and then everybody at home will get a chance to win. Yes, so it'll be a collection of all three things that ultimately they'll get to win. Awesome. All right, so 15 minutes on the clock. Ready, three, two, one, go. All right guys, I'm gonna find you the coolest present that I possibly can. There are a lot of good things in here, so it's just a matter of coming across the perfect item. Get some t-shirts, hats. Ooh, hats are cool. Oh, I like that hat. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Maybe, we'll think about it. I think I think we need to canvas the whole gift shop before we make our decision. Let me see, where else are we gonna go? Let's go this way. Oh, check this out. This is a buffalo crossing sign, or would you guys want a mammoth crossing sign? Hmm. Ooh, there's a little mammoth crossing sign. That's pretty good. Ooh. All right, check this out, guys. This Cast of fossils. I mean, I feel like this is what we're looking for. Look at that. That is really cool. Hmm? What do you guys think? I don't know. Lean in toward that tooth. What are you doing? Hey, you spying on me? Yeah, what you got there? Why are you spying on me, guys? What about that? Oh, man. Look at that tusk. Check this out. Mammoths as far as the eye can see. Looks like we got uh, some cool figures here. Ooh, dinosaurs, but it's a mammoth based video. I think we're gonna try to stick with the mammoth stuff. Hey, hey, hey. 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 No, no, no. Mario, did you pick it yet? I already got it. That's what you're gonna do? All right. Maybe. All right. What? You can't, when you pick one up, it's decided. Oh, really? Yeah, like you can't just hoard a bunch of stuff. But I, I, I'm getting dibs on this guy. There's no dibs. What? You either make a choice or you put it back on the shelf. Come on. That's how the rules are. This is $3,500. Is this fair? Huh. Can I? I don't think that's in the budget, it's guys. Not, it's not in the budget? No. That's so cool. I bet we would be the only people to have ever bought the $3,500 mammoth statue. I mean, it is sweet. It looks pretty happy. <laughs> this would be a lot to ship. <laughs> uh, let's, let's keep searching. Keep searching. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what? I'm gonna go with the educational side of things. I have a feeling that Mark and Mario are going to be picking out toys and things like that. I'm gonna get you guys a mammoth book. I know, come on, Coyote, you're getting us a book? Yeah, guys, I think a mammoth book is really cool. There are some great ones here. 
super educational content coming from the Brave Wilderness channel today. The moment of truth. All right, guys, we are now out of the building, which means we are out of the gift shop, and we've all picked out our items. Now, I don't know what Mark picked. I also don't know what Mario picked. I only know what I picked, but it's time to reveal to the Coyote Pack the grand prize collection of mammoth educational things, right? Yeah, well, I mean, cool stuff. Mammoth cool stuff. Cool stuff. Mammoth cool stuff. All right, should we do Mario first? Let's have Mario go first. What do you got there, buddy? All right, so. I went a little traditional, and traditional. I know when I was younger, I, well, as I'm older as well, I like just simple figures that really have a good representation of the animals, and this is a woolly mammoth figure. Cool. Here, why don't you hold it out in your hand there, I'll get a tight shot of it. Let's see here. Pretty nice. nice. Pretty nice. Okay, guys, there's uh, cool thing number one. Okay. All right, Mario, I'm going to hand you the camera. Hey. All right, Mark, what do you got in there? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? So, I think that was really cool, but being that we were at a fossil site, I thought, why not send the coyote pack Whoa! a lucky winner home with a replica Whoa. fossil. This is a Colombian mammoth tooth cast. Nice. So I didn't even see those in there. Yeah, they had a whole wall of them. How'd you miss that? I don't know. So this is like a total replica of one wow. of the teeth found at this site. So, in a way, somebody's gonna be taking home a piece of the mammoth site. That's pretty cool, so this yeah. is the top? Yeah, that's the top, so that's, this is the grinder. That's solid. Like that, yeah. That's cool. Very pretty cool. cool, huh? I mean, try to top that guy, Eddie. Ooh. Okay, we'll see, we'll Ooh. see. Okay, the big moment. What's funny is that I almost picked that mammoth figurine. I did not see the teeth at all. But what I decided to do is go totally educational on this one and I picked out some must-have mammoth reading material. Nice. Check this out. Not Whoa. only do we have two cool cards, Wait. one that is the Columbia mammoth and one that is a woolly mammoth. Hold on, hold on, pause. <laughs> Alright, you see the problem what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's more than one item. You're only had, supposed to pick one thing. Well, I, technically it's one package. It's a package of items. They were all very, I guess, reasonably inexpensive, so I felt it needed to add up to something, uh, and that is this educational package. Uh, so wait, 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 man. let me finish going okay, through. Okay, go for it. So I've got the two mammoth cards. You've got your Columbia mammoth and your woolly mammoth. There is a woolly mammoth ahead crossing sign. I call it a crossing sign, but I guess it says woolly mammoth ahead. Then there's also this cool book about mammoths. It has some really interesting history. Oh, there's my tooth. Details about the tooth. And then of course there is some pretty epic pictures of Ooh. Columbia mammoths in there. And last but not least, a completely comprehensive book on mammoths, giants of the ice age. So I would say that in total, we put together one colossal mammoth collection of educational artifacts, toys, and literature so that you guys can all learn about these prehistoric giants. Sound pretty good, right? Yeah. Now I know everybody wants to know how do you win this mammoth educational package. This giveaway is going to be a little different because we're doing it on Instagram. Now we're gonna take a photo of all these prizes and post it on at Brave Wilderness. Make sure to head over to Instagram and follow at Brave Wilderness and then write in the comments section tell us why you love mammoths and how you plan to learn from all these educational items. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Being in the presence of so many fallen giants is an indescribable experience. And even in their fossilized state, they still command a great deal of respect. If you ever find yourself in Hot Springs, South Dakota, make sure to check out the Mammoth site. And if you want the chance to win our colossal Mammoth Education Package, head straight to our Instagram page and follow at Brave Wilderness. For all the detailed instructions, check out the video description below. If you love seeing mammoth fossils up close, be sure to go back and watch the episode where I held the world's most famous dinosaur tooth. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next prehistoric adventure.